Hi there, everyone. It's Thursday. It's a busy Thursday, March 24th, 2022. Yes, we're here with the kids. <laughs> and it's busy. So we're going to talk about college basketball and we're going to talk about hockey. Yeah. And we're going to talk about me losing everything lately. Um, so it'll be fun. Today there are four games right here. Um, it looks like, wow, Arizona over Houston there. Um, should be a good game. Uh, you can see where these teams align in the brackets here. So we're looking at it's predicting Gonzaga right there over Arkansas, right? Is that what the game is? Yep. And um, line's not great, but we do have Gonzaga winning the tournament according to the AI bracket. So it does have them winning. But, man, it's everything losing right now. Uh, I actually was keeping track. It's like 0-10, I think, on advice I've given the last two days. So I just bet the opposite of everything I say. There are people that do that. Um, and I, I laugh when this happens because they win. It makes me want to almost bet against everything I say sometimes. Uh, but we'll see what happens uh, because it doesn't continue like that. There are small uh, variances that happen, and anything can happen any day. Uh, that's why they play the game. So is there anything really good on here? I mean, that Arizona line's reasonable, right? Um, Houston's been playing good, but these are super strong teams. I mean, look at these power percentages. Th this is the rest of the games on Friday as well, right here. Um, so that's that look. Now, uh, let's go over to hockey. Some super quick video today. Yesterday, of course, terrible. One and three, but it wasn't just us. The odds makers too, right? Pittsburgh loses to Buffalo. Who loses to Buffalo? Nobody. Nobody loses to Buffalo, except Pittsburgh. Vancouver beats Colorado. Another game totally flipped the other way. New Jersey fights but doesn't win this game against Toronto. But they, they were I think they were leading at one point. It was close. Um, and then Chicago here outscores Anaheim. A team just Anaheim really traded away everything. If you look at the people they traded, um, it's actually something that, that we should take a look at is exactly who did they lose. Because when you, when you dig through the matrix – which I have done over the last few days, you start migrating players from whatever team they were on. For example, Hampus Lindholm. Um, Oscar Lindblom. How about Lindholm? Uh, not Elias. Is it Elias Lindholm? Hampus Lindholm. One of the Lindholms got traded. Uh, yeah, Hampus Lind Lindholm is now on Boston, right? He used to be on Anaheim. Uh, a lot of big names have moved around, and so Anaheim's one of those teams that is in the middle of a rebuilding situation. And as you can tell... The rest of the season is kind of a wash for them. So how about today? Here are the games today. Uh, just because it has not been running well the last few days doesn't mean it isn't going to have a, a great run today. I mean, it just, it'll happen like that. So it likes L.A. over Chicago. Chicago played a game last night. This line's not great. But um, Colin Delia is confirmed already for Chicago. Wow, this early in the day. Then you've got number two pick... Nashville over the Vegas Golden Knights. Golden Knights also really playing poor hockey lately. They did win when I was in Vegas last week, although the algorithm said that they were going to lose, but they won. Uh, what else we got? Ottawa and Win Winnipeg. It likes eighth pick. Winnipeg is in order. Islanders over Detroit. Makes a lot of sense. Islanders playing better hockey. Detroit playing worse. Boston and Tampa Bay. Look how well Boston's been playing. And that is a surprise to see Tampa Bay only winning 30% of their games. How about that? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, Florida. All right, a lot of interesting things in here. I'll post a picture up, and hopefully it'll go better today. I would, you know, I'm supposed to give specific picks, right? Because they're either all going to win or they're all going to lose the way things are going. But I don't know. You just have to analyze this. One of the cool things you can do here is you can subtotal up. Um, uh, subtotal up games by hitting subtotal here. You start to get these total points. Over-unders are, are fairly reliable with this file. So here you have a 10-goal ten, ten game with Florida and Montreal. So whatever the over-under is set in that game, that's one that the algorithm is clearly saying take the over, right? And, and that game has a 6.5 over. So you can even do an alternate over um, of six or seven. The algorithm says that's a huge scoring game, right? What about the lowest scoring game? Because the things that actually have won over the last few days that I haven't really focused on, but what I did talk about over-unders, is the over-unders were pretty good, actually. So the, um, the lowest scoring game looks like it's a 5.6 right here between Dallas and Carolina. 
with expected goalies, but if these expected goalies go, that's that's good. They got good goalie ratings there. Anderson's got a great goal, goalie rating. So does Ottinger. Uh, yeah, you can see it, like this game also a low scoring game. Tampa Bay, Boston, right? Uh, the over unders you have there are. Anyway, the point is you can, you can talk about this forever. I got other work to do. You see some other videos to, uh, today for me about taxes and payroll. Um, but anyway, good luck, guys. May all your picks be winning. Enjoy the rest of the, the bracket uh, here. And I guess I have to root for Gonzaga um, because that's what it's been saying all along. He did that last year, too, and they lost to, I think, Baylor, right? So good luck, Gonzaga. I hope I just haven't given you the, you know, the Ken's curse of death right there. All right, good luck. May all your picks be winning.